Hey everyone, I am Anthony Scott of ToyHypeUSA.com. Today we are reviewing the Masters of the Universe Origins Landshark vehicle from Mattel. This is available now and it's inspired from the 1980s release. I would like to thank Mattel for providing this for review. Greatly appreciate that. So the packaging is just like the others uh, for vehicles and also beast-sized figures such as Battle Cat and Panther. Very nice window box artwork. The packaging is also inspired from the 80s, including you would recognize the Masters of the Universe logo right there up on top. You also see Skeletor riding the Land Shark and Snake Mountain behind him there. You on the front of the packaging, it also gives you a little bit of instructions how this works. You push down and roll forward and the drawers open and snap shut. The sides of the box also gives you a look at several creatures around Snake Mountain. There's a look at one side. Here's a look at the other. This is a look at the back of the box, giving you new artwork that shows Skeletor riding the land shark, as well as several Masters characters, including Fisto and Man at Arms. With Skeletor, you see Stinkor and Triclops, as well as a dragon creature right there. There's also a brief description below that and also below that you have a look at several characters, playsets, and vehicles that are available for 2021 which includes Snake Mountain. You also have Battle Armor He-Man, She-Ra, Roboto, Battle Armor Skeletor, Merman, Zodak, Clamp Champ, Ram Man, Panthor, Battle Cat, and of course the Land Shark. Also on the packaging, this is a uh, look at the top. This gives you an additional look of the surroundings around Snake Mountain. And you see Trap Draw and Chlorophyll from the Evil Warriors, as well as this creature right there. So what I'm going to do now is open this up and let's take a closer look. The Land Shark comes unassembled in the packaging. So once you take it out of the box, you're going to need to assemble a few pieces on it which include the tank trends and the side blaster, which you see on the floor there. You're going to see how it's connected on the side here. And it's going to look just like this. So what I'm going to do is assemble it. So you're going to connect where you see these clips on the sides and you're going to push it in until you hear the snaps. There should be four snaps and then this is going to connect right here and that's going to be one snap. So there's your look at assembly. Now that I have this assembled, let's take a closer look. So the Land Shark is inspired from the 1985 vehicle in the vintage line. And personally, I never had this back in the 80s. So it's really a high time that I have it now. It's a phenomenal vehicle. I personally love the uh, overall design of it. It's a really cool looking shark head there, which can open and close when you move the vehicle forward. So we're going to take a look at that feature. But let's take a look at all this really cool looking design and everything that went into this, including the sides of it where the uh, tank treads right there. All those little sculpted wheels and everything. So they really did a very nice job on it. The blasters can be raised up and down as shown and those also have uh, shark heads right on the tip of it so that's a pretty cool addition to the design the front of it you see the mouth of the shark and there's a lot of sculpted details inside the mouth here got all those very cool little designs you also see these little bolts all the way around here. And you see this really nice looking pattern on the around, let's call it the lip area. 
of it. The teeth also have these little sculpted patterns right here, which is pretty neat. The other side of the vehicle is identical. So there's your look there. Bottom of the vehicle, you really see those sculpted bolts a little bit more. And you also see the wheels, which can turn. Back of the vehicle. So what this has are stickers. And if this was part of the Masters of Universe Classics line that Mattel did, all these details in the back would have been sculpted. So just like you saw on vehicles like the Battle Ram, the Jet Sled, the Roton, things like that, that was all sculpted for the Classics line. This, however, is given stickers, which they applied to in the factory. I actually wish in this particular case they let us put the stickers on because I'm noticing on here it's a little uneven in spots and I like to be the one to put the stickers on, but that's just my personal preference. And of course, you have the seat here. So you have the sticker, giving you a look at all those knobs and controls and everything. And you have the seat right here, which is given various textures. Let's take a closer look at that, giving you guys a look. So you see all those sculpted little textures there. Varies from surface. And down here, this is where you would stick the figure's feet in. So there's your look down there. Here we have a look at the feature. So as you push it forward, the front of the shark's head is gonna move up and down just like the E5 release. The Land Shark is also somewhat compatible to Masters of the Universe Classics line. It's a little small and the figures do stick up a little bit, so it's not perfectly compatible, but it does work with some certain select figures, as long as they don't have a cape or some kind of big sculpt or anything. So what you want to do is bend their legs and push it down as much as you can. And for the most part, the figure is going to stick up like that. But if you do leave it on the shelf or something, it will look like he's fit, which is pretty cool. So that's a look at Beastman in there, almost fitting in there. And again, this was the Masters of the Universe Classics, the Manny Collector exclusive line that Mattel had put out for years. And as I'm sure you're aware, this is mostly compatible for the five and a half inch Origins line and can also work with your vintage figures from the 80s. Here's a look at Beastman in the Origins line. And as I said, this vehicle is best suited for Origins as well as vintage figures. So you see that Beastman fits in there much better. And let's move this closer, giving you guys a look at him seated in there. And here's a look at the back. The Land Shark can also fit other Evil Warrior characters, including Trap Draw, which you see right here. As you can see, he fits in there very well. It won't, however, work for a character like Scareglow, as the character includes this cape. So, the cape will get in the way, but what you could do is pop off the head, take off the cape, Oop. 
and stick them in there. So that's how to get around that. Let's put Merman in here. Okay. So here's a look at Merman. As I said earlier, the Land Shark is also compatible for Origins as well as Masters of the WWE Universe. So here's a look at Roman Reigns. And as you move it forward, you have that chopping action. So one thing you can do, you could stick a figure inside the Land Shark's mouth and it holds him in there pretty well. He doesn't fall out, which is pretty cool. So now He-Man has to rescue his friend here. Overall, the Land Shark is a phenomenal vehicle with a great design, and there's definitely a lot of play value here. I think that kids and adults will enjoy. If you were around in 85 and had this vehicle, this will play a lot of nostalgia feelings for you. So my recommendation is go out and buy it. Go out and buy multiples if you want. Uh, you will love it. Thank you so much to Mattel for providing this for review. Greatly appreciate it. Please go back and check out the review for Castle Grayskull. Uh, we also reviewed Clamp Champ and Triclops in the last week. So go back and check out those reviews as well. I am Anthony Scott of ToyHypeUSA.com. Thank you so much for watching. And please check out the written portion and photo gallery of this review. We would appreciate that as well. If you're looking to purchase these in that written review, there's a section on there where it says purchase with multiple stores that sponsor us that uh, carry this vehicle. So check that out and click off the link before you buy. We would greatly appreciate that as well. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more coverage.